What is going on guys? My name is Jeff with Slayers Gaming and today I'm going to be um, helping you a little bit to try to resolve this really annoying error that I got about two days ago on my desktop. Um, basically what happened is um, I always leave my desktop um, powered on. I never really power it off and um, basically you know two days ago I woke up and my desktop had guest rebooted itself and on my uh, screen was this error right here that says a disk read error occurred now I have never seen this error before guys and I really hope I never <laughs> I really hope I never see it again because it's very annoying um, basically it's very ambiguous and you don't know specifically what the issue is basically all you know is that your computer cannot read the uh, the hard disk on your computer I mean you're, that's basically what it's saying However, after doing a lot of research, um, I mean, I found out that it could pretty much be anything on your computer that can cause this issue, not just a bad hard drive. So today I'm going to be showing you some of the steps that I took to help resolve this issue. And yes, I did resolve this problem um, after about a day of troubleshooting my computer. And it was actually something very, very simple. So let me go ahead and tell you first the simple uh, solution that I did that actually ended up fixing the problem so um, if you have a desktop and you're getting that really annoying error the first thing that you want to do is you want to check the cables that are running from your hard drive to your motherboard and you want to make sure that the cables are nice and secure on both ends in other words on your hard drive and is secure on your motherboard in other words that they're not wiggling around and the reason that you want to do this is because um, most of the time, at least from my research, it's either going to be a faulty hard drive connector, like the one that you see in the picture, that's red, um, or it's going to be the hard drive itself that's going bad, or in my case, what it was, it was a bad motherboard uh, port. As you see, I have a circle there in the picture one of the ports on my motherboard went bad so whether I connected a hard drive to, uh, to it a CD-ROM to it, whatever I connected in that port the computer would not recognize it for whatever reason so what I did was I ended up using another port I connected my hard drive on a open port and voila basically I restarted my computer and it booted up absolutely normally so um, that's the first thing that you guys want to do if you have, uh, if you're getting that error, make sure you check your cables. Make sure um, you check the port, may, you know, just to make sure that it's not going bad. And lastly, make sure you check your hard drive. Um, and if you have another desktop in your house, you can try this, uh, try your hard drive uh, in that desktop to see if you're getting the same error. So, in summary, guys, this first step. Um, basically you want to again check the cables if they're bad make sure you swap out the cable with one that you know is good um, you know swap out the hard drive put it in another system to see if you get the same error um, swap out uh, check the port uh, connect your your hard drive cable into another port to see if you get the same error um, and basically that's what I did and that's how I resolved uh, my situation so I'm not saying it's gonna work for you but it's definitely worth a shot alright guys so the next step is to reset your BIOS and the way you enter the screen is by hitting either F2 or delete whenever your system is uh, rebooting you'll see like a kind of a little message on the bottom of the screen and it says press F2 or delete to enter BIOS you know you're gonna hit either one of those buttons uh, depending on your computer and it's going to bring you to a screen like this and what you want to do is you want to either load fail save defaults or you want to load optimize defaults and then you want to make sure you save your changes by hitting F10 and then uh, basically after that your system will reboot and then you'll find out if you still get the same error or not alright guys moving on to the next step is to test your computer's memory or your RAM to make sure that it's not going bad and uh, the way you do that is um, there is a tool it, 
there's a memory test tool that you can download which I left in the description below that'll basically test your computer's memory and uh, it'll show you if you know any of the modules on the computer are going bad because sometimes bad memory modules can cause this error to uh, crop up um, at least based on the research that I did so um, this is the last step guys um, that I did uh, before I finally fixed the issue um, of course um, there are more steps that you can try if you're somebody who's very technical very computer savvy um, I left another link in the description below uh, of an article that I actually personally read uh, to try to resolve this issue and luckily for me it actually ended up you know solving my problem so hopefully this helps you guys out um, I know that this error is very annoying um, and it is very ambiguous but you know hopefully you guys uh, you know resolve this issue but anyway uh, once again my name is Jeff with Slayers Gaming and I'll talk to you guys later